Good morning, YouTube family. Good morning, Facebook family. Good morning, Instagram. Good morning, my family. How's it going? I hope everybody's having a good day today. I am. Um, I'll let you guys know that I spent about 16 hours in jail, I think it was. Give or take, or a little more, you know? Um, yeah, I went to jail. I can't talk about why yet, because I gotta get some stuff taken care of, but you know, I'm gonna talk about it later once I get in the clear. And uh, I just want everybody to know, don't, don't, don't go to jail. It's horrible. It sucks. Um, I got treated pretty, pretty decent in there, you know, but you know, I'm a, I'm a pretty big dude. And I got some mental problems. They acted up in there, and I told them about it. So they decided that they were going to treat me a little different than most people. I got my own cell, my own day room. They segregated me from the whole people, like everybody. They segregated me from everybody, you know. And um, it, it was nice, you know. But at the same time, it was jail, you know. Like I couldn't, I, I could only walk around the day room freely for so many hours, and they locked me down into my room. And I'll tell you what. Um, the food wasn't so bad. I don't know why people bitch about jail food, but I I would think it was just I was hungry. I don't know. Um, and I was stoned when the cops picked me up. So, maybe it was the weed, you know. Um, I do know that I was treated fairly, and I was polite to those people, and they weren't used to it. I figured they wouldn't be, you know, but I was polite anyway. And, um, you know, just for the moment, uh, Charlie had to be a savage in there, you know, and just make sure nobody messed with me, which nobody did, you know. But it's just the fact that, you know, just don't go to jail. It's no good. It's not. You know, like people think it's cool to go get locked up and it's cool to do this and be bad and all that sort of stuff, you know. Don't do it. Because I'll tell you what, whenever they locked that door on me, when I went to sleep, I had anxiety about it at first, you know, but I really thought about it. And in the moment, you know, I was like, I've got a cup, okay? I had my cup. I had a way to get water. I had a way to go to the bathroom. I had a way to go to bed. And I thought to myself, if I just go to sleep, get up, give me some water and stuff. Um, the lady left the TV on in the day room for me because I'm schizoaffective, and if I don't sleep with noise on at night, I go crazy. You know, I hear things, and it just is not pretty, you know. So I asked her if she'd leave the TV on in the day room for me, and she did, you know, and she kind of turned it up to where I could hear it because I was on the other side of it. And so um, I would get up periodically in the middle of the night to get water, and because it was hot in there, and I'd stand by the door where the air conditioner was blowing in, and I'd stand there and get cool off and watch TV and look at the clock, you know, and... Um, chit chat with the guard a little bit whenever he come check on, do his runs and checks. You know what I mean? And I uh, finally went to sleep, and I woke up at like five forty-five, six o'clock, something like that. And they were opening my door for breakfast, and then I was out of there. You know what I mean? And it's like the experience I took away from that was very humbling. You know, and I know people wanted me to talk about the election. And, and Biden and Trump and stuff. And I don't, I just, I don't have time for that right now. I don't have time for silly stuff. I don't have to sit here and wonder what they're doing in Washington and all this voting stuff. And I don't, if I, if I lose to a fair fight, that's fine to Biden. But if I don't, they cheat it. A little different, you know, but I don't want to talk about that. I just want everybody to know that I'm safe. I'm okay. You see, I'm not at my house right now. Um, but just don't go to jail. It's not worth it, you know. It's really not. Um, just follow the law and whatever they tell you to do for the most part, you know. And just do your own thing and don't get in trouble, you know. And um, today's Saturday, so Monday I got to go talk to the lady at the courthouse. Hopefully I got to call her and we're going to get all this stuff sorted out. I had to take a class this weekend. or yes, I was supposed to do it this weekend, but I did it yesterday. I felt... I just said, fuck it, finish the whole thing, you know. But, um, you know, it's just, 
it's just not worth me wasting my time anymore trying to push it, push the system, push the envelope, um, gamble. I, I, I threw the dice so many times in my situation. I knew eventually I was going to crap out, you know. And I didn't listen to my gut, you know. I didn't listen to my gut. And, you know, like, here I am, you know. I'm going to shave my face for court. I mean, I probably didn't have to shave my face, but I did anyway just to just to prove that I'm nice and take baths and stuff, you know. Maybe. I don't fucking know. But I do know that I'm looking forward to getting all this stuff resolved, and whenever it does, I'll be able to tell you all about it and freely because then I won't, you know, they can't do nothing, you know. So um, just know that I'm safe and I'm good, and hopefully tomorrow or Monday I'll have a, should have, you know, some music stuff for y'all. And um, cause I did bring my guitar and my amp to my drummer's house, and I'm hanging, hanging out with old Jenga Lang. So uh, I love y'all. I got to get out of here. But, you know, just be good out there. Any of y'all little teenagers that be watching me, if y'all watching right now, be good. Okay? Listen to your parents. That goes for you too, Thomas. You listen to us. That way you don't have to go back to bullshit. So, I love y'all. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, keep it brutal.